So speaking of kids, my wife and I homeschool our kids. Because our attitude is, why should we trust our kids' education to the public school system when they can learn math from two people who fail algebra three times? <laughs> but teaching math is not the problem. The problem is actually teaching history. Because imagine relating something that happened over 200 years ago to a couple of knuckle brains that just sit around texting and tweeting all day. You've got to put it in their context, right? So we just tell them that and teach the Declaration of Independence. So I'm like, okay, kiddos, here's how it went down. The founding fathers decided that they wanted to separate from England, wanted to declare independence. So they all gathered around Thomas Jefferson, who was crafting that now famous text message. <laughs> so we're just not that into you, we're breaking up. Hit send. <laughs> and then they waited around nervously for what must have felt like minutes for a reply to come in. And when it finally came in, they're like, what does it say? What does it say? It says, who is this? <laughs> Oh no, did you text France by accident? And right at that moment, John Hancock yells out, he, Dude, he tweeted, King George tweeted, says, At colonies, I'm coming for you, hashtag red coats. <laughs> and then Patrick Henry jumps in and posts a selfie to Instagram, Give me liberty or give me death. And Paul Revere starts tweeting out, The British are coming, the British are coming, hashtag revolution. <laughs> and by the time Betsy Ross gets involved, the whole revolution ends up on Pinterest. Yeah, so our kids are not going to college. Yeah, that's okay with us.